Hello, my sexy Capricorns. I hope your day is going well, your evening. Whenever you see this, I wanted to go ahead and do a reading for the next week ahead. So this will be your tarot, your lovely oracle, your horoscope reading for September 26th through October 2nd. We are finishing out Mercury Retrograde this week. Hallelujah. Thank goodness it ends on the 2nd. And we're going to get the deets. If you are seeing this after, take what resonates, leave the rest. And we're going to have three decks. We're going to have the lovely tarot, followed up by LaRoche's Goddess Queen, Just Me 23. And then bring it home with our lovely angel answers, where you can go ahead and think about a specific situation, person, place, or thing. And I'm going to get you some more details. So... Let's go ahead and get started, my love. Go ahead, like, subscribe, turn that notification bell on, and comment for engagement. It really helps your girl out. I pick three people every month at the first of the month for free private readings with me. Those are the only privates I offer, so all you have to do is be subscribed and comment on any video in September to be entered to win for the October 1st. So let's go ahead and get started, Capricorns. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth, putting good energy into the cards. God, energy source, your ancestors and mine, because we are energetically aligned. What do we need to go ahead and know for the lovely week ahead? Let's see. I'm a Capricorn rising, so I'm excited to see what we need to know out here. So, okay. You've been feeling trapped, honestly, out here. So with the lovely, I believe this is the nine of swords, eight of swords, eight of swords, Feeling trapped, restricted, you, you're you backed in a corner. You feel like things are not working out your way. You feel abandoned, right? And that's kind of led you to feel like you've been walking away from a lot of people, places, and things that no longer serve you. I mean, it is Mercury retrograde. We're getting rid of things that are out of balance that we need to go ahead and call back in. It's kind of that reflection moment, right? And I think this is because you literally have been releasing this pain with the three of swords in reverse, walking away from heartbreak, overcoming your depression, getting that optimism back in your life, forgiving people, places, and things in your life that no longer go ahead and serve you. You are attracting in a king of pentacles. So the, or you are in this energy as well. Take what resonates, you know, energy is exchangeable. But this could be a possibly a Taurus, someone who is definitely well-grounded, secure in themselves, knows exactly what they want, might have their own empire building up, and that's what's kind of giving you hope because you got new ideas with the Ace of Swords coming out. So new ideas, new plans. Um, this is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, energy, potential communication coming forward, new beginnings, having that success, that mental focus, that breakthrough. So whatever you want to go ahead and manifest, you are bringing in because you are the store. The store? The store? You are the star, dyslexia of the house. So Aquarius energy, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. You're getting this hope, this recognition that you definitely deserve. You know, it's that positivity. It's that faith. It's that healing, having that rejuvenation, having that new perspective on life and really being in that healing era of your life because you have the lovely six of wands energy. You got that success, that victory, that overcoming here potential. If you are in the limelight, this is a lot of celebrity energy, you know, going viral, things like that. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the death card. So Scorpio energy out here. So spiritual transformation, like I said, letting go, releasing your transition, your transformation in life. Death doesn't have to mean it means literally putting to end things that no longer serve you, closing out karmic cycles. We have the lover's card right here as well. So potentially bringing in a new soulmate, a new soul tie, really having that major choice in love and deciding where you want to go ahead and take things. Let's see, splitting the deck here. Yeah, you feel like you've been in the stalemate for quite some time. Maybe, you know, you've had that blindfold on, you can see here. And really, you know, it's you're sitting on this fence and it's been very, very stressful for you because you want to make moves maybe you've been just focused on your pentacles like I've been saying because the whole patience card is coming out right below that so really that's you know you have been patient and you're like Kelly when is this going to come into fruition out here for me and it's that's the greatest question right because splitting the deck we have the eight of pentacles so this is all about that fuck you money Virgo energy so that wealth that lump sum of money that changing tax brackets is coming your way and maybe that's what you've been focused on instead of the your love life but I'm telling you the world is coming in in rapid movement so communication you know hastiness speed is coming your way potential travel getting that energy getting that focus and really gaining that momentum to go forward because 
the world's right below it. You are going to be successful. You know, you're getting that fulfillment. You're filling up your cup with things that honestly truly matter in your life and no longer giving to things that are lower vibrational because they don't serve you anymore. You got to release that ex bestie. I'm sorry to say it for all the besties. I want their ex to come back. Chances are they're trash. My exes are trash. It's okay. But why would you want someone back who doesn't give you equal give and take that you get breadcrumb for? We don't stand for that. You think and think and think that they're going to change Bessie. And I think you're getting a new person in. So let's go ahead and get some clarity Capricorn with our lovely the Rasha Goddess Queen Just Me 23's deck. And see what else we need to know for the week ahead. What do my Capricorns need to know for the week ahead? Please and thank you spirit. What do they need to go ahead and know? Okay, well, someone is definitely in regret. It's definitely a masculine energy. So someone who thought with their head or their head and really they're wishing that they didn't do that because they are your secret admirer from afar. I've been watching you. Will you be mine? I'm afraid to tell you how I feel. Their throat chakra is opening up. They're ready to go ahead and express how they feel about you because you were meant to shine. Unique is better. Shine bright even if it hurts their eyes. Everyone's kind of been getting this card that you need to remember your worth. And if this person is no longer giving you or reaching out and, like I said, breadcrumbing you for that situation, why would you still want that? They can watch from the side of the club that they can't get into, but why would you want that? Because I'm here to bring you the tea. They're probably still not going to come forward and tell you this. With the keep it on the low, hush, I won't tell hidden information, they're not ready to be honest with themselves. And you don't need to wait around for them because you're trusting your intuition. You're knowing, I need to keep walking my sexy ass forward and leave that person in the dust. It, why would you not want to open yourself up to potentially someone better coming through and offering you more? Why would you want to hold on to some bread crumbing energy? Because someone's coming forward, you got an entanglement. Another earth sign's coming forward or someone who is very stable. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, energy. Let me be your provider. They're coming forward in the entanglement. So you got multiple options. The universe is putting you through a test. Can you leave that person in the past? Or are you going to keep doing that same stuck cycle? You're not going to get your financial freedom. You're not going to get your abundance. You're not going to get this true love until you release the past. That's the energy, Capricorn, because splitting the deck, yeah, someone's going to come forward. They're going to be in it to win it, in it to lose it. You have a soul contract with this person, and it's going to be someone who's very intuitive with their feelings. They are willing to care for you. They're expressive, and they, they know that your whole vibe. They know what you have to offer. You don't have to feel like you have to keep proving yourself or giving, 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 and it not working out because the hammer... And the let's get naughty is right below that. So intimacy, sex, wang wang energy, magic stick, throat baby, wop, and role play, handcuffs, whips, paddles, change. This person wants to be a little freak freak with you, watching you from afar. And I'm telling you, this new person is ready to come with their mask off and give you these phone receipts, these calls, these texts, this text message, and really tell you how they feel. Proof is in the pudding. What did you just read? Splitting the deck again. Yeah, you need to put up these personal boundaries. What are you dealing with? What are you not dealing with? You are ready for this equal give and take. And honestly, you can't keep going through. They say the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. So stop going back to your past, my love. But let's go ahead, get some clarification with the angel answers oracle. So go ahead and think about a person, place, or thing. And I'm going to give you some more specific answers on this. So go ahead, think about that. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. God energy source, your ancestors in mind. What do my lovely besties, Capricorns, need to know about their specific situation, please, spirit? I'm telling you, the universe agrees with me. You need to choose a new direction. You need that new, new, because you deserve this balance, this equal give and take with a compromise. Balancing of the scales, uh, Mercury retrograde just moved out of Libra, Mer moved into Virgo. And I'm just saying, because it's going to be up to you to go ahead and have this blessing in this recovery. So get grounded, meditate, focus in on you, because guess what? The answer is going to be yes if you remain positive. So I'm just saying I think you need 
this better outcome, this new person. Get grounded. Meditation will bring you those answers once again. But you're going to get some, some light at the end of the tunnel within the next few weeks. So two to four weeks, you're going to get your answers. We're going to be out of Mercury retrograde. If you believe you're worthy of this divine counterpart, this love, then stop trying to attach that name to it. Stop trying to control the who, what, when, where, why. Don't stop. Keep moving forward because it's coming in perfect timing. So divine timing is coming forward and coming to your rescue. The, with peaceful resolution, this is a better outcome than what you could have ever expected for. So success, gratitude, all coming forward for you. I love this Capricorn. As I say, I almost have a Capricorn stellium. I'm a Capricorn rising and I needed to hear this as well too. I want to tell you anything, bestie, that I want to tell myself. The world is your oyster and you are the pearl. Remember that. I'm sending you so much love, so much light. And honestly, you just need to be open to this new love. Stop thinking it's someone from the past. There's someone new coming in and you deserve it. You deserve this new beginning, this fresh start. I love you, Capricorn. Take care of yourself. Eat a snack. Take a nap. Drink your water. And until next time... I love you so much. Subscribe. It really helps your girl out. And I love you, bestie. Bye.